Spiritual Travels, The Great Awakening, Religion, and the Revolutionary Spirit Take a Stand. The Great Awakening took a stand in history by preaching the gospel to people. Jonathan Edwards and George Whitfield wanted to take a stand by bringing out the Great Awakening. This was in the time period of the 1700s in the colonies. Edwards and Whitfield decided to preach the Word of God through revivals and sermons. The Great Awakening made people think for themselves about what they wanted to believe, and they noticed that they should think for themselves about everything, which led them to break away from England. In the 18th century, in the American colonies, there was a religious revival called the Great Awakening. This awakening was a reaction to the age of reason, science, and the Enlightenment. This movement favored the heart over the brain. Belief in God and faith rely on things that require your imagination, which cannot necessarily be proven with science. The leaders of the Great Awakening included Jonathan Edwards, George Whitfield, and Gilbert Tennant. These three gentlemen founded separate movements, had different beliefs, and used a variety of methods to bring a reawakening and took a stand for God and Christianity and the American colonies. Faith versus Enlightenment is Christianity versus Science. The heart represents faith because Christianity is believing in God even though you cannot see him. The brain represents enlightenment because they believe in science instead of God. Enlightenments have made political cartoons about George Whitfield preaching and revivals. This Episcopal Church is an enlightenment church which believes in science instead of God. Gilbert Tennant is a Scots-Irish immigrant who was a leader of the Presbyterians. The Law College, which is known as Princeton University nowadays, was made by Reverend William Tennant. The Law College was made for revivals to let sinners experience conversion. Jonathan Edwards is a Yale minister who refused to change to the Church of England and was a major revivalist in the Great Awakening. Edwards converted thousands of people to believe in God and explained to them that good deeds does not get you into heaven. This rock represents the first Great Awakening speech that Edwards did in the second building. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God is one of Edwards' most famous sermons and one that really got to people. The spider represents God holding you over hell because he hates when you sin, such as a spider holding an insect in his web. Edwards was not known for being all rainbows and unicorns, but he was known as being straightforward. Jonathan Edwards said, To go to heaven... Fully to enjoy God is infinitely better than the most pleasant accommodations here. This means that being in the presence of God is better than anything earth could offer you. George Whitfield was a Christian minister who was one of the main reasons that the Great Awakening happened. Whitfield preached at many sermons and revivals to tell people about God and was very passionate about it. Whitfield has been described by many people as the first religious celebrity. George Whitfield said, It is a poor sermon that gives no offense, that neither makes the hearer displeased with himself nor with the preacher. This means if the preacher does not tell you that neither him or myself are sinners, he should probably not be preaching and have a come to Jesus meeting with an actual preacher. Opposition is someone that disagrees with your point of view. 
Jonathan Edwards said, If you are going to walk with Jesus Christ, you are going to be opposed. In our days, to be a true Christian is really to become a scandal. This means, even if people disagree or make fun of you because you are a Christian, you should still love and stick with God through everything. Charles Chauncey was a Harvard-educated, traditional clergyman and the leader of the opposition against Jonathan Edwards and the Great Awakening. The Great Awakening started the revolution of the colonies to leave England. The revolution led to our wonderful country called the United States of America, where we have freedom and rights. Edwards and Whitfield preached in revivals to convert people to believe in God. Lots of people were affected by the sermons and revivals because it saved people's lives. The Great Awakening made people realize what they believe and they noticed that they should have their own opinions about everything.